it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up, guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to another video. So, by you know means of vote, um, count do a series on county line won the vote. So, do a series on county line. It is um, as I mentioned in the video where I talked about doing the series on here. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of cheat in money and just you know have a bigger. A bigger setup going on and whatnot um, so that is what we are gonna do um, yeah so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna give ourselves a few million dollars 10 million will do and then we're gonna go ahead uh, that's turned down that off fast off uh, I did take soil mod out as well just cuz to play on here I think I'd rather play without soil mod. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go fast forward until everything is grown. We're getting closer. Almost there. Go into tomorrow sometime and should be all good. So we just got filled 11 and 12 that need to grow yet. They're still not there. There we go. Okay. Now we're all set. Let's buy a combine, a truck, and a grain cart. And we're going to go with this 780 Terra track. Um, I just downloaded this actually. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Guess I need to take that out. I will be back in a moment when I get back to where we were. Okay, so back to uh, where we are now. <clears throat> um, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to buy some sheds and stuff. <clears throat> so the first one is right here. Finish construction of your covered shed. C. Bam, got a new shed. Okay, the next ones are over here. Actually, a ways for this first one. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll pay to have this thing opened up. Buy a piece of land adjacent to your small farm to begin expanding your operations. Price includes the land, clearing of many trees, and building some basic infrastructure. So that is $20,000. We'll go ahead and do that. Now we got some road in here. I see a cat running. Let's see if we can chase him down. Yep, there's a cat. Okay, so we'll go over here. You can see there's a bit of a shed starting to be constructed. We'll go ahead. <clears throat> Finish construction on a very large machine shed. The shed will include meridian, include meridian seed storage, fertilizer tanks, and has vehicle repair capabilities. Upkeep is $20 daily. $70,000 to finish. And then... We got a nice big machine shed here. Okay. If we uh, run over here, we can do silo construction. Finish building a harvest or silo system. These can store chaff, grass, or hay. Capacity is 350,000 liters per fruit. 30,000. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Next is right over here finish silo construction where is that ah, there it is it's back here away somewhere there it is 
Construct a large bin system with 3.5 million liters per crop. Running costs are $10 per day. That's $100,000 to build. And bam, we got a nice big facility here. And if you see here, we got a uh, whole bunch of different stuff here. Got a little office. And then we got all these monitors here to see what we got for crops in here. And then I think this is the last one in this area. Yes, this should be the last one in this area. Construct a large machine shed for more equipment storage capacity, $20,000. That is the Random Sparks 2K map object pack uh, large building. Has plenty of storage space, plus we have all of these tools and other stuff in here so that is all for around here there's a couple more things you can buy uh, there's a uh, pig farm a beef farm that you can buy and then there are also I think there's two pig farms two big two pig farms a beef farm and a dairy farm and then also two more bin sites, but I'm not worried about buying those right now. Now let's get us a combine and a truck and a grain cart and let's get some combining done. Um, let's see. Hmm, which combine do I want? I think I'll go with... We'll go with a Challenger 680B. Okay, so we'll need that. Then we'll need... We're going to buy a 9RX. For a grain cart. Because I really want to try this tractor out. I have not actually tried it yet. Ha. If you don't already have this 9620RX... Go to Canadian Farming and Modding on Facebook. That's where you can get that tra uh, tractor. I wanted to say truck. Let's see, we'll go with the decab tri drive in white. Okay, now we'll get a hopper. We'll go with. Just standard Wilson trailer. Just one. That'll work. Augers. Let's see. Because we are going to run grain carts, so. Do I want a Kinsey? 1050, 850, or 1050 floater, I guess. It's not 850. 1500, 1100. Mm, we'll go with a. 1500 sounds good to me then we need to buy the duels for the combine then you need to go over here to brands and get our header a macdon fd75 we'll just have all that stuff reset back to the farm now <clears throat> we will go ahead. We're just going to buy every field. Why not? Like I said, this is just kind of like a, you know, a big time equipment. Just kind of screwing around with lots of money. Messing around with all kinds of fields and whatnot. Just kind of a more... You know, like, all of my other series, those are legit series, you know, not cheating in money, not, you know, anything like that. But this one, I just kind of want to, you know, cheat in some money, do whatever, have fun. Okay, so we'll get the truck hooked up. Let's figure out, let's see, we got soybeans... So we'll go ahead and we'll start with field 11. And my pedals are way off right now. 
for whatever reason. So we'll hook this guy up first. Get him moved over here to 12, which we gotta go, or to field. What is it? Yeah, 11, not 12. 12 is Barley. Barley, I'm gonna guess. I'm not sure, actually. But that would be my guess. Uh-oh, I see some mud. Truck's gonna get a little dirty. I also don't have damage mod in here. That's the other thing I don't have in. But just because, like I said, you know, just kind of want to screw around, have some fun, not worry about it. Not worry about a thing. Ooh. That might be bad to hit with course play. Okay, so we'll just kind of do a turn around in this field here. <clears throat> Haven't even started, and our truck and trailer are already dirty. Crazy. Crazy what that mud will do. Um, so, uh... On this series, um, at the moment, the only private mods I'm using are this truck and the map. Uh, this version of the map is a private edit from a dedicated server. Um, as you guys saw in Monday's video, which for me is actually just finishing uploading. Um, should be done pretty quick. Uh, so... In Monday's video, uh, this is the map that I was on, on that dedicated server. <clears throat> uh, the truck, the tractor, the map, et the edits to the map are all done by um, Canadian Farming and Modding, uh, the owner there. The truck is an American Truck Simulator conversion. Um, the tractor, I believe, is a polygonish model. Pretty sure that's where that came from. Yeah, it is. Uh, maybe? I can't remember. Anyhow, um, and then the map is from American Eagles Modding. He just took it, fixed some issues that were on it, I guess, and then uh, added some of his own stuff to it. And, uh, yeah, so, let me see a field of sorghum here in field 9. What color is that? Well, it's kind of like a different bluish color. This map, map buyable objects thing I really like. Uh, I want to incorporate that into some of my maps. Um, actually, really I don't know if I can. Because like the ma my map, you know, being it's based on an area, you'll only have the, you know, the main farm and then the like the secondary area with the elevator and six bins um, so I don't know if I don't know how I'd get that to work if at all but it will be on the map the map project that I'm working on with a, uh, a friend of mine uh, as I mentioned in Monday's video I'm working on a 16x map uh, with a friend of mine, uh, he had asked in if anybody into a group um, that he created uh, in Messenger for some guys. He uh, asked if anybody knew how to do DEM real terrain. I of course do, so I come or you know replied saying, "Yep, yeah, I do," and. Uh, So, as he asked me if I'd do the do uh, do up a DM terrain for a 16x map uh, for an area in Wisconsin, uh, and if you guys want to see the progress of that, go check out Canadian Farming and Modding. Uh, I am actually also a uh, member of that page now, so I'm also going to be posting pictures on there uh, and other stuff. 
<clears throat> so make sure you go check out that page. A um, lot of good guys on there. They are awesome people. So make sure you go check them out. Uh, and we're going to have to go about this a different way. I'm not going to be able to fit through that fence. Um, so yeah, Canadian Farming and Modding. Uh, or Canadian FM, something like that. Uh, but yeah, make sure you go check them out. Awesome group, uh, or awesome group of guys. Uh, awesome page. There are a few mods on there. Uh, his Peterbilt 380, 351, excuse me, is on there. Uh, he's got a Kenworth T800 High Hood on there. Uh, day cab. Actually, I can show you guys what's all released. Um, trucks. So this Pete here. Uh, I think he released this truck. I don't remember. Um, it, it's a truck similar to this one. Just a day cab and it's red with some other different stuff on it. And then he also released his cattle trailer, which is right here. So, plus then of course the 9620RX as well. So, a lot of neat mods on there as well. Uh, so be sure to go check that out. Um, I don't know if I want to put course play on the combine or if I want to put auto combine on the combine. We'll go auto combine. That guy's got his lights on? Really? You don't need your lights on, buddy. It is middle of the afternoon. I guess it is cloudy, though. Okay, we got that guy going. Now let's fire this thing up. This is, like I said, actually the first time I've used this, so. Did he add any ICs or anything? Nope. He did add that. Cool. This is a very awesome tractor, actually. Of course, I mean, you know, the owner of Canadian Farming and Modding, he does great work on everything that is, so. Really, I didn't expect anything less I guess we'll get to test out the dirt map on it here in a moment this and the grain cart I've never had the grain cart fully dirty even though I've used it like so much right through it like a champ wow it didn't even that mud didn't even phase this thing holy crap that's crazy so we'll get our speed drop down here to six and then we will start chasing the next combine around so yeah um for those of you that did vote to see the new my new project um you guys will still see that uh, it's just not going to be Wednesdays and Sundays uh, like this will be. <clears throat> um, and another thing with this, you know, I don't have to focus on doing a bunch of off-camera work on here either. So, that's another good thing. Holy, this thing lights up the night. Wow! <laughs> Them are some lights. Holy smokes! Oh dang! This stuff all has a neat soybean texture. Actually, all has a soybean texture too. That's something that really you don't see all that often much on mods, unless like the creator made it specifically that way. You know, otherwise, you just you don't see stuff with it. My driving is getting. 
that thing empty already? It is, holy crap. So, so is that one of the viable? No, it's not. So down here is a farm uh, with a silage pit in it. That, I'm not sure what that is. There's a lot of viable objects on here. And the map Bible objects are always fun, like I said, you know, you can do so much with it. Um, so we can turn this off. Let's get, get to day again. There we go. Much better. So our truck's lights should be off now. Yep. Good, good, good. Hmm, I wonder if we shouldn't get another combine and get him going too. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's get another combine. Why the heck not? Let's go with... Um, see, I kind of want to stay away from these John Deere's because those ones you have to unload it manually. I think we'll go with a 9670. Sounds good to me. <laughs> we'll reset that. Whoops. Okay, where is the combine? Harvesters. There we go. Then we'll go ahead and get this guy rolling too. And another reason why I'm just kind of going big and you know, going crazy is because this series won't really be around like super long. I mean, it this is just kind of a temporary thing until I get my summer car back up and going again. Um, which, you know, I'm getting close to it. I just have a couple things that I need to do yet, but I need to get the uh, tanker truck, I need to get the hose out of a sewage well, for, sewage pit I guess, sewage well, same difference really I guess, um, but I need to get that out of the, the well because as I was saying in, yesterday in Monday's video, I kind of drove too fast when taking the hose out of the hole and <laughs> yeah it detached and unraveled itself down into the hole so that kind of sucked <laughs> um, but you know whatever I guess not much I can do <clears throat> um, I did read you know that something that said saving with the truck right by it will help or it'll spawn it back on so tried that but it, it was a walk just to get to the truck and then of course I don't have any food or anything with me so I died uh, it's such a mess I mean the that stuff just goes so fast on that map like your fatigue and all that stuff it just builds up like so fast that you know, like you can barely get stuff done before it's like, oh, you know, I'm gonna die of thirst pretty soon, or die of starvation, or die of fatigue, or something stupid, you know. Begins, we got hazards all around. Cool beans. See the front tracks are clipping in just a little bit. They are, they all kind of are, but. I don't think I've seen many, very many track tractors that you know are perfect. I mean, no mod is really perfect to you know per se. I guess. I mean, you know, there's mods that are really, really well done, but you know, not every mod is perfect, like to the way somebody would else would like it. But that's just how it is. I mean, if you didn't make it, it's not going to be exact how you want it. It doesn't always work that way. Okay, so now we gotta wait until that guy is turned. And over there. In fact, we're gonna do 
is we're going to not take out their garbage can or their mailbox <laughs> or the road sign. There's way too much stuff in one little tiny space that we have to try and not take out. This map is actually pretty cool. I I really haven't done much playing on it. I mean, like when I recorded the video on the server, that was about the first time that I played on it. I've done a very little bit. Uh, I did a save game, you know, similar to doing stuff like what I'm doing here. You know, I just cheated in a bunch of money, bought all the fields, except I bought every map viable object except for the animals. I didn't buy animals. But I bought everything else and We'll unload that guy next as soon as we get this one unloaded uh, this is the MacDon FD 75 if I didn't already say that um, very nice header I got this from a private group I'm not sure if it's released or not I honestly have no idea uh, but you know I got it from a private group but it could be released someplace. I honestly have no idea. I really don't go searching for mods all that much anymore. I'm kind of content with what I got. And I really need to delete a lot of what I've got too. I mean, I've got so many mods that I just don't use, that I don't like, that are full of errors. Or just, you know, not something that I like. I probably already said that, but whatever. But, yeah, I got... I've got like almost 500 files in my mods folder and I need to go through it big time. Um, you know, it helped with my game, you know, the way that my game runs as well, so that'd be a big help, but... Okay, so, okay, we need to take over on this guy here. Because... Oh, that's right, this header, for whatever reason, allows you to go much faster. I don't get how. Okay, what the... I think somebody was being funny. <laughs> oh, I'm missing a bunch. Oh, well. Come on, pick it up. I think somebody was being funny in this field. Anyhow, we're going to try and get this so that it's working nicer. In terms of auto combine, because auto combine would suck to do that area. Yeah, I definitely think somebody was having a little fun in this field. Oh, God. What field are we in? 11. I'm gonna message this guy. Say, what's, <laughs> what's up with field 11? Oh, these guys. I swear. <laughs> what a bunch of dorks. Oh. Man. So we'll pick that up later. Oh, I suppose it would also help to unmute the group. <laughs> this is in the original county line. Okay. Alrighty then. Oh. Well, that's funny. <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional. I'm gonna assume it was. But, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna assume that was intentional, but I'm not for I'm not for sure on that. Oh wow! I 
That's funny. I should post that in the uh, support topic for this or something. Be like, what's with field 11? <laughs> like that field there, that's not even fully planted either. Hmm. Whoa, too fast. <laughs> okay, so now we'll kind of work on picking this up. <laughs> Timer done. Okay, so I guess what I'll do is I'm just going to do like a couple things between this and the next episode because I'm just going to record the next one right away and get it over with. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is just finish cleaning up this edge and then get get this one going back on auto combine and get them both unloaded and then uh, then I'll start recording the next video again <clears throat> um, so yeah for those of you that wanted to see that have stick stuck around for the whole video here uh, you know thumbs up to you guys uh, for those of you that watched the whole video you know that's awesome um, I hope you guys enjoy the videos I know I have a lot of fun making them, um, but anyway, <clears throat> um, I should have said this earlier in the video because I know there's a lot of people that don't watch the whole video. Um, I know myself a lot of times I don't watch whole videos, like mainly when they're like hours long or whatever. Whoa, stop! You know when they're like an hour long, I don't watch the whole thing unless it's you know something that I really want to watch. But, um, anyway, so check out tomorrow, um, you'll see the reveal of my new project, so be sure to go check that out, check out all the other videos, um, so, yeah, thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel, be sure to subscribe if you like what you see, be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias, including my mod sites and other cool YouTube channels that are definitely worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.